but there is no spider. Ha, oh, fuck you, dragon. And the dragon seems very unhappy with that circumstance. I'm sorry, Mr. Agitated dragon. and trying desperately to chew through the ice to find the meat of its meal, yeah, of which Mr. there is Wicker. none. Why not? Rainy and I act as the distraction. We bolt out while you guys go oh, grab it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I nod with my owl head. <laughs> Well, you can you can flap here. Yeah, there, yeah. Don't make it make a sound and then just dart down on the owl. So I, I, I can't speak as an owl, can I? No. So I kind of want to just hold out my claw to summon like get in it, get in it. We hide. We're gonna hide. Super hide. Can All you right. make boulders invisible? Can I make boulders invisible? I heard Both boulders. Of us. No. <laughs> just boulders invisible. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna hide as much as we can over here. I can make one of us invisible. I'm gonna. Can I blessing of the trickster myself? I'm not sure if I can. Not can hide. A willing real creature well. other than yourself. Nope. Yeah. Can you make me invisible? Yeah. And then you have advantage on stuff. I boop her on the nose and turn her invisible. <laughs> And then I'm going. So this is your second channel divinity. If you have no more. No, no, no. I, I didn't actually do blessing of the trickster. I didn't need to because she already has it. Oh, got you. Mm. But before you do that, I'm going to pass without a trace us so that we have higher. And then you can okay. make me invisible. Okay. You cast pass without a trace again. Was did anybody give me that I can go however far I want, however fast I want? What no. was that? No. Right. No, I only had three, and it's it's less far and how fast. It's just if it, if you try and get. Like caught, grappled, oh, and get grappled. It doesn't make you okay. faster. Question: If I, as an owl, wanted to bolt, could I just no, it's an bolt? Owl. Oh, it's a freedom of movement. I mean, if like, you, like if I bolted out of the cavern and like through the tunnel. Yeah, you could yeah. do that. Yeah. Cool. So this was owl, at your owl speed, yeah. At my owl speed? How fast is your owl speed? I feel, can an owl outspeed a dragon? I don't know. I feel like you should make noise at the bottom of the tunnel. Somewhere like how fast, how much your owl speed? Uh, five feet, and I fly 60 feet. Okay. Right. Five, so I fly 60 feet. So you could do 120 if you did your In action around. and your, yeah. Okay. So we're going to take off, and then I'll do the thing once we get momentum going. But I'm going to wait for you guys to get in place. But for the record, I don't think you can outfly a dragon, but we're gonna fuck five okay. yeah. Got a head start. Let me get a head start. So, to recap, I'm going to lift off the ground, yeah. you're gonna make a noise, and then I'm gonna fucking go. Yeah, you just go, and I'll time it. <laughs> me and Nada hiding, yeah. hiding, hiding. Okay. But we're super hiding. Well, go ahead and roll a <laughs> stealth checks with your additional hiding we're benefits. Mega. You guys are now moved behind in position, you're attempting to hunker down and not be perceived by this entity. So. This is a check. I just do a straight roll. Exactly. Oh, terrible. Uh, advantage. No, I, yeah, no, 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 no advantage. I'm drunk. So 18 <laughs> plus, plus password, okay, yeah, it's 28. 29. 28. 29, okay. Okay. Not terrible. So you guys are <laughs> hiding in position. Okay. Bad and what are you doing? And I'm invisible. And you're invisible. So I'm, I'm holding bow, and <laughs> gently, and gently pull out my my bottle rockets. Yes! My firecrackers. The firecrackers, okay. So I, I, and I hold up a match. I gently lift off and the I, ground, I, and, and before before anything happens, I just like nuzzle Bo in hopes that we're not gonna die. I nuzzle her back. <laughs> and while I nuzzle her back, I think, fuck you, Professor Thaddeus. <laughs> uh -huh. I guess I had to be owl fan. All right. All right. <laughs> And I and I give a small nod. <laughs> As we take flight, yep. I like the firecracker, yep. and I'm 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 oh. heading out of there. And I wait, oh. wait. <laughs> you guys from down there hear the series of explosions <laughs> suddenly <laughs> from behind. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly the dragon turns around. <laughs> the wings beat up. It jumps and leaps, spinning. <laughs> Into the area, as you guys dart down, you hear it slam into the frozen wall behind you and dive after you. Its fly speed is 80 feet, Fuck. and it is gaining. Uh, I'm going into the. I want to go into the hut because the hut can protect me from everything, right? All right. So at, at double speed yeah. for your turn, yeah. that puts you at 
uh, sorry, 60 speed, so 120 feet. Right. So you get over the edge yep. to the bottom of the tunnel and about and about 40 feet inward. So you're down kind of close to where you guys were hiding before. Uh, okay. Uh, the dragon comes through from the whole distance there, trying to catch up with you. Yep. It gets down and lands on the bottom. Okay. Right. And as it, as it slams down, I'd say, uh, yeah, because it drops. It doesn't even try and fly, it just falls. <laughs> Hits there. Oh, God. He's going to go ahead and take a deep breath and <sighs> blow outward. At 40 feet out from it on the ground, it will catch you in its breath. I need constitution saving throws from all three of you, please. Oh, the minute no, the dragon passed us, yes. I'm dimension dooring me and not to the other side get it, get it, get it, get it. All right. of the cavern. You guys leap over to where it was. Is it, what do we see, is it an ice or is can it? Can we see the Mithra? You can see the faint blue glow. It's, you kind of have to rummage through to get to it, but, it, but you can see it. You both reach out, grab it, it still has like a bit of ice around it, it kind of freezes your fingers to the touch, it hurts, I'm it resistant. burns to grab. <laughs> so you grab it and kind of like, oh, it yeah. burns the skin, but it's fine, it's fine, you can deal with this. So you take half damage of the, the frost on it, double ones. You take one point of cold damage as you grab the frozen ice flex Mithril. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to quickly look around. Make a, make a perception check. <laughs> Just four. Yeah, I don't just see four. Uh, I mean, easy to see. All of these are, is just piles of gold, and <gasps> silver, and platinum. You can see chainmail glowing. You can see weapons. <laughs> this is a this is a dragon sword that is half frozen, and half exposed, or covered in snow and slush. Um, all around you, everywhere you look, in this moment of clarity. Can you take direction and grab something, and then we will bamf. But do it. Do I get a, a movement in action? You can't believe it's if you want to. <laughs> I'm. I will move, grab one thing, and run back to her. Okay. Move, okay. Move, grab the first shiny thing that's exposed. Okay. Whatever it may be. Okay. She's and run crying. back to her. You reach and, <laughs> and grab. You grab in a pile and pull out what looks like a rainbow-colored stone. It has like layers of color to it. Okay. That's and you look at it briefly, and the colors kind of <laughs> shift slightly, Shit. and you rush back. <laughs> Good. All right. Can I use? Another action? Yeah. I'm gonna dimension Doris again. Oh no! Oh, you can't. You use one action this turn to rummage through and find the Mithril, so you can't do it this turn. Okay. Yeah. Then well, we, we also dimension door it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, what yeah. I'm sitting. Okay. So, so if you dimension over here with your action, I'll say technically you're still rummaging through to get the Mithril. You're just not pulling it out. Okay. As, as you ran over and got shiny thing, yeah, I got yeah. the Mithril. Out. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, so using your next action, you now have rummaged through while while have the Mithril. you pull the Mithril out, and you now have it in your hand. And it's freezing your hand. You run over. Do you want to head you, back to Jester? Do you want to try and make another pull from the well, can treasure? Get something else. If I've got to, I've got to waste a whole other action just to, before I can even do my dimension. You're door. not ready yet. All right, great. I'll go over to another pile and okay. just grab something. Roll an investigation check for me, with disadvantage because you're drunk. That was that hit the side. With disadvantage? Because you're drunk. Oh, that's right, you're right. God. Oh, that's okay. 18. 18, okay. You go ahead and reach, and out of the corner of your eye, you see like a faint blue glow, and you reach in and grab, your fingers touch something, it has like a weird moving metallic texture, and it's kind of cold to the touch, and you pull it out and drag it over, and as you reach over, and you look in your hand, and there's a piece of like chain mail that's just kind of dangling out of your hand. Just a piece of chain mail? Like, like a, like, a chain like, mail. Like a, a oh, chain oh, shirt. Oh, it's a chain shirt, yeah. okay, cool. Jester, we're alone in a dragon's lair. Think how much the traveler would love a dick in this place. <laughs> or at least a pamphlet, something! Oh, oh okay. So it's yeah. both of your action this turn. You get to contemplate what you do next turn while the dragon is still distracted at the moment. For my bonus action, yes. can I at least pull out one of my little traveler figurines that I made a bunch of with oh, my yeah. paint? Yeah. All right. Okay, allow that. Come on! What do we do? We can go to Dimension Door. What's that purple thing over there? Do you want to look at it while I set the traveler thing down in the dimension door? Okay, so you, you, you glance over and you see locked into the ice of the wall, uh, there's some strange metallic contraption. Uh, you don't recognize its make. It looks weird and alien, and that weird kind of blue pulsing glow, it's kind of just slowly kind of lighting and then fading and lighting and then fading. You've never seen something of this type of construction. And it's mostly embedded in the wall, and it's huge. It's like 20 feet tall, five feet wide. You have no idea you what it is. You can't get it out. If you get it out, it'll be very loud. No, don't get it. Don't get it out, it's fine. What is that thing? I don't know. I'm going to sit the traveler figure down like exactly where it can see but it. But that purple thing could be important. I don't know. 
No, our friends could be dying down there. We have to go save them. You're you're right. I'm going to Dimension Doras. But I uh, to the opposite side of the dome. Okay. (laughs) You guys appear the dome right there, and in that brief moment, to be like, oh, we made it. You watch as as Geladon leaps towards step into the dome. The dome, and you guys step in right as you oh watch this large ancient white dragon. It's <laughs> like scraping on and biting. It's just opening, grinding against the side. <laughs> Slamming into the side as hard as it can. So what's happening? You guys are all inside the dome. You can't. Inside, yeah. Oh, it's not concentration. Oh my god. So it'll take a full minute. All right. So Caleb begins drawing the circle across the ice. You're setting it down. You see, like the dragon's like angrily roaring and slamming its claws in. On the opposite side, you can see like a handful of yetis that apparently have come in since you last arrived. Or like, nope. (laughs) You watch it. About 20 seconds in, Geladon's anger subsides. Megan's kind of like. Caged lion oh. stalking oh, around no! the inside of the circle. About 40 seconds in, goes, Where do you think you're going? Oh no. 50 seconds in. We didn't want to disturb you. <laughs> For the yeah, record, we're really out, sorry. And I, and I just throw seven platinum out the out the out the door. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> <laughs> we're really sorry. <laughs> Mark seven platinum off. Yep. <laughs> I know your scent now.